Hi, this is Mrs. Rusnak. Today I'm going to show you how to do perineal care on a female with hand washing. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to sanitize my hands, rub that in all over the surface, make sure that it is dry. Then I'm going to collect my supplies. The supplies you need for this skill are three towels, a bath blanket, four washcloths, a chucks pad, and then you're going to need soap and a wash basin, which many of these things will be in the room, like the soap and the wash basin. You're going to need a pair of gloves, and then when you go over to the hand washing area for that part of the skill, you're going to need soap, paper towels, and those types of things. I'm going to go ahead and take these supplies into the room, and I'm going to knock on the door. Hi, Mrs. Miller. My name is Amy. I'm your STNA today. We're going to go ahead and clean your, um, your private area, your peri area, okay? How's that sound? I'm going to make sure that this is Mrs. Miller, which it is. And then I'm, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get um, water from the sink. I'm gonna go ahead and get some water from the sink and I'll be right back, okay, Mrs. Miller? So you'll find that typically in the nightstand. So I'm gonna go over. Fill my wash basin with water. And I wanna put this on warm water and I want it to be approximately 105 degrees. So I'm gonna fill the wash basin. go back to the residence room. All right, I'm going to get set up. So the first thing I'm going to do is if you're going to work on the tray table, you're going to put a barrier there. So I'm going to go ahead and put a towel down. This is good so that the water, if it sloshes around and spills on the tray table, it catches that. So I'm going to put my basin over here. And then I'm going to set up my towels and washcloths and my soap all right and because this is a an um a skill that is kind of embarrassing for the resident you're going to go ahead and make sure you pull the privacy curtain next thing i'm going to do is put gloves on and because i'm going to raise the bed up I'm gonna go over to the side that I'm not gonna be working on and I'm gonna pull that um, side rail up for safety. Then I'm gonna raise the bed up to thigh high level. And I am pretty tall, so we're gonna go ahead and raise that pretty high up. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cover the resident with a bath blanket. Um, anytime you're using water, they're going to get cold and chilled. Also, you don't want to get their sheets wet. So we're going to fan fold these down. Okay, and we're going to cover them with a bath blanket. Now for this skill, because you're working in the middle of the body, I prefer to put the bath blanket on the upper half and then use the blanket and sheets on the bottom half. That way you're working in the middle and they're covered as much as possible. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and roll them over, make sure their arm is not trapped under here and that their face doesn't hit the side rail I'm gonna, and keep them covered as possible. I'm gonna roll them over and put a chucks pad underneath them, okay? Chucks pads have a color on one side which faces down towards the sheets. Kind of set them over like that. You're gonna roll this, okay, about halfway. The color part goes down towards the sheets. The white part is the part that's absorbent for the liquid. That way, if you spill something or get the sheets wet, you're just getting the chucks pad wet and not the sheets. So you don't have to change all the sheets, only the chucks pad. All right, I'm gonna go to the other side. And I'm gonna roll them this way. Grab the rest of that chucks pad. Lay that out. Okay, now they're centered on that chucks pad. All right, I'm then gonna go ahead and bring my supplies closer to me. Ooh. That's exactly why we have the towel there, so it doesn't spill all over. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna expose the peri area. And of course, you're gonna be explaining this all to the resident, talking to the resident during this time, but keep them as covered as possible. 
We're also going to go ahead, if they can, and bend their knees. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take one of the washcloths, get it wet. We're going to put some soap on it. Don't use a ton of soap because um, it's hard to rinse them. Um, you want to get them clean, but you don't want them to be really sudsy and not be able to get those suds off. I'm going to fold this like a diamond, okay? And then we're going to hold this, the corner of it, the closed part of, part of that washcloth. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and spread the labia, and you're going to go from front to back down the center, okay? So front to back, straight down the center. While we're spreading that labia, take one swipe. Then you're going to flip this rag spread the labia we're going to do what's called the inner labia which are like lips on the vagina the inner part on one side flip the rag spread the labia do the other side the inner labia front to back then we're going to go ahead and flip this rag and then we're going to do the outer labia the outer lips so come a little further out front to back now we've run out of surfaces so we're going to flip this rag and use this bottom surface and do the other side the other outer labia front to back okay this is then um, dirty, so we're gonna go ahead and put this in the linen hamper, which I'm gonna bring closer to me. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna rinse that area in the same way. So we're gonna get the wash rag wet. We're gonna hold this like a diamond, the closed end up. We're gonna spread the labia, go front to back, down the center, clean the vagina, flip this, do the inner labia on one side, flip it, do the other inner labia, flip this, and then start to do the outer labia, front to back, and then we're gonna flip this rag and do front to back again. This goes in the linen hamper. We're then gonna follow that same process with a towel to dry it. So you wash, you rinse, and you dry. Here, you're not gonna fold this like a diamond. You're gonna use each corner of the towel and pat dry. So front to back, you're gonna do down the vagina, spread the labia, Another surface of the towel, go inner labia, pat dry. The other side of the inner labia, pat dry. Then we're gonna move to the outer labia. Pat dry front to back. And one more surface, outer labia front to back, pat dry. This goes in the linen hamper. Okay, and if you don't wanna reach around this, if you're on this side, you don't have to have this handrail down. Next thing is I'm gonna go ahead and cover the resident going to unfold her legs and we're going to go ahead and turn her over. We're going to make sure that her arm doesn't get, get pinned under her, her face does not go into the side rail. Turn her over, kind of prop her up, keep her as covered as possible. We're going to expose the rectum. Okay. And we're going to kind of go through the same process. We're going to take a clean wash rag, get it wet, get some soap on it, just a little bit of soap. I'm going to fold this like a diamond, close end up, okay? And you are going to clean from the vagina to the rectum. And we remember this by going crack up, and you're going to go up the center first. So go from the vagina up the middle, flip your rag, and you need to do three swipes. Actually, the, the steps only call for two, but we teach you to do three, okay? So the middle, then we do um, vagina to rectum on the side, flip your rag, vagina to rectum on the other side. This goes in the linen hamper. Then we're gonna use our rag to rinse, get that wet, fold this like a diamond again, and we're gonna rinse it. And we're gonna go up the center, vagina to rectum, crack up. Other One of the sides, go vagina, up the rectum, the other side, and now go the second side. Flip the rag, go crack up. This goes in the linen hamper. We're then gonna dry in the same way. So pat dry, use a different corner. Go center, pat dry, crack up. Sorry, it's tipping a little bit. Another side of the towel, pat dry. And then this, the last side of the crack or the rectal area. Then this goes in the linen hamper. All right, and then while you have your resident turned on their side, 
we're gonna go ahead and take this Chuck's cat out from under them. It's probably damp. We're gonna make sure that these sheets are all wrinkle free when they lay back down on them. So we're gonna turn them back over. Pull this rail up. Take it out from the other side, just roll them slightly over. Pull this chucks pad off. Go ahead and take this chucks pad and take the bath blanket and put that in the linen hamper. Make sure they're covered. Keep these away from your body. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and leave the resident where they are, and I'm gonna go ahead and clean up my area, okay? I'm just gonna look around. So if I got the soap from the side table, I'm gonna put it back in the side table, and then I'm gonna go ahead and take my wash basin and rinse that out and clean it and disinfect it. This goes in the linen hamper. I'm gonna go ahead and dump this out. Rinse it, wash it, Take disinfectant, depending on the facility, clean it with disinfectant. Take some paper towels, dry it out, and then I'm gonna to return to the residence room to put this back. off and then the trash lower the bed call light I'm gonna make sure they have their call light there's your call light mrs. Miller then I'm gonna go ahead and lower her side rails make sure everything looks nice and neat Feel better, Mrs. Miller? She's gonna probably tell us yes. If you need us, you go ahead and give us a call, okay? So then I'm gonna go ahead and leave the residence room, and then the la last part of this skill is to do hand washing. So I'm gonna go over to the sink, and we're gonna wash our hands. Okay, so make sure that my body is away from the sink counter, it's not um, up against that. I'm gonna go ahead and put my water on. I'm gonna take a paper towel. If you have any rings or jewelry, I'm gonna go ahead and take that off. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get my hands wet and then get some soap on my hands. And then I'm gonna go ahead and wash for 20 seconds. You can sing Happy Birthday twice or the ABC song twice. You're gonna go ahead and get between your fingers Okay, you're gonna do your wrist. You wanna lather up your soap. Fingernails, you wanna go ahead and scrub your fingernails and your thumbs. Make sure they're really nice and clean. And then we're gonna go ahead and rinse them. We're not gonna touch the sink at all, the faucet or the sink itself. Let the water run down towards your fingertips, both hands. Pay attention, if you touch the sides of the sink or the faucet, you need to tell the tester, I just contaminated my hands, I need to start over with washing my hands. And they'll let you start over. We then are gonna let these drip dry. Um, we're not gonna fling them or anything like that. We're gonna come over to our paper towels, grab enough paper towels, make sure you don't hit the wall or the chair or whatever's around them. You're gonna go ahead and dry from fingertips up Okay, and then we're gonna throw this in the trash can. And then I'm gonna grab another paper towel to shut the faucet off. And then this goes in the trash can. And then I'm ready to go on to my next resident. I can go ahead and put my jewelry back on and then I'm finished. Thank you.